What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Ill Will, getting back at y'all with another Pro Tools Tips and Tricks video. Um, today, we're going to talk about compression. Um, I'm going to show y'all around the compressor, show you the features of the compressor to uh, try and help y'all better understand how it works. Um, by you understanding how a compressor works, you'll be able to use it a lot more efficiently in your mixes. Um, a lot of times, beginners and uh, home studios, a lot of people understand the concept of a compressor, but a lot of times they use it um, way too much or compress the hell out of something. And that's what gives you that muddy type sound. You know, once you compress it, you take kind of all the life out of a, a vocal or, or a piano or something. So I'm going to show you around the compressor and show you the features, show you how it works so you can make your mix sound a lot better when you use it all right so um <clears throat> let's jump right into it and what we have here is the digirad compressor limiter um pretty simple uh we're gonna start let's start with the threshold all right um the threshold what is the threshold um the threshold is the point in which the compressor starts to compress so far as signal and everything see so, uh, so um any signal that is higher any any signal that is higher than 12 decibels on right now the way i have it set any signal higher than 12 decimals the compressor will grab and start to compress we'll start to bring it down in this case so um let me hit play and i'll, I'll show you by moving the threshold up and down so you can get a better idea of what it does We'll get past the laughter, cause nothing's funny, nigga. What you doing, now, this is with, I'm getting money, um, nigga. Any from the dead hands, you have to take it from As me, I bring nigga. it down, I got a squad of shoes, a to bunch of hungry wickets. I'm in the head. water's boss, so them wickets be you have this set fingers in your mailbox, can't hit in the river. So, if I have it at minus 20 dBs, so anything over the signal that would jump past right here, the compressor would start in, as you can see right here. You know, anything past this point on the input, the compressor will start grabbing and compressing. So let's bring it back to 12 where I had it. All right. So that's what the threshold is, is the point in which the compressor grabs the sound and starts to compress, is when it, it starts to do its job. Um, next in the, in, I guess you'd say the chain of the compressor would be the attack. Okay, what the attack is, is the amount of time it takes for the compressor to start compressing after it's hit your threshold. So after my signal has hit my threshold at 12 decibels, my attack is right now set at 3 milliseconds. So it would take it 3 milliseconds for it to grab it and com start compressing hard. Um, there's a couple theories on this. Some people say that at 3 milliseconds is where it start it it hits its full capacity of compression um some people say is where it starts um it just depends on the manufacturer of the plug-in or the hardware you're using right so um so if my tag is at three milliseconds soon as it hits that threshold my my compressor is grabbing that sound and pulling it down that's a very fast attack um if it was higher it would take you know it just take a little longer It'd be a little more delayed. Uh, a lot of times you can't hear it. It's just that little bit to make you feel more comfortable about it. All right. So, like, now we have the release. What the release is. Um, the release is the point in which the compressor lets go of the sound or the signal. Um, so, after the signal hits 12 dB, the compressor grabs it, you know, and it starts compressing. Well, right now that I have mine set at 30 milliseconds, it at 30 milliseconds, my compressor will let go of that sound. It compressed it for that long of time. That's how it grabbed that, that sound, compressed it for 30 milliseconds, and then let go. All right, so that's really all that is. Um, I have a quick attack, a quick release, because I'm just trying to catch, you know, those higher parts of the artist's vocal where they got a little louder than they usually would or got excited or put some emotion into it. I'm just bringing it down a little bit, trying not to suck no life out of the artist's vocals, just trying to control it a little bit. 
So that brings us to the ratio. Um, how to explain the ratio to you? All right. The ratio, a ratio of two to one. What this means is the two stands for would be the input signal. So if I had two decibels of sound coming into my compressor, the compressor, after it compresses the sound, it would compress it down to one decibel. So if it was at two decimals when it come in, my output would be at one decimal. Um, so say my signal was at, you know, I had a signal coming into the compressor at 10 decimals. At a two to one uh, ratio, it would take them 10 decimals on the input and it would split it in half, I guess, because the two to one would be half. So it would be come, the out, the out, what would it be the output would be uh, five decimals. So it would compress it back down to five decimals, which is a lot, you know, um, in some cases. That's where a lot of people get confused with compressors is the whole ratio thing. Um, a lot of people don't understand how that works. So I hope I helped y'all out a little bit with that part because it is a little um, confusing to start with. So if I, let's say I had a three to one um, compression ratio. So what that means is for every three decimals of sound that comes into the compressor, it would come out as one decimal. So if I had a signal of six, uh, decimals coming in on a three to one ratio for every three they come in we'll put out one so that means my output would be two decibels I uh, hope that helped you out a little bit um, there's some charts on the internet um, I can't remember the website's name but I'll try to get it for y'all and put it in the description below that will help y'all out with this a little more um, what else we have gain and knee the knee comes in when you're using your limiter so that's nothing right now. Um, gain is just the output signal. You can, you know, after it's compressed, if you want it a little louder, you can make it come out a little, a little louder. All it is is pretty much your output control, you know, of your output. So, um, you know, some people add a little gain. Like right now, I have a decimal of gain after I've compressed it and got that sound I want. So let me play this real quick with the compressor and without the compressor for y'all and let y'all hear the difference it's it's subtle but it's not too much too much you know the kill of the vocals so let me play it real quick for you i'm gonna play it one time with and one time without we'll get past the laughter cause nothing's funny nigga what you doing crap i'm getting money nigga from these dead hands you have to take it from me nigga I got a squad of shooters, a bunch of hungry wiggers. I hear the orders bossing, then wiggers deliver. Fingers in your mailbox, kid head in the river. Torso on your porch, so you can reconsider. I paint a big canvas, you get in the picture. I'm All right, so that was with the compressor. As you can tell, the vocals won't crazy too loud, and they won't too soft. The compressor put them exactly where I wanted them to. You know, I brought the loud parts down just enough to have the artist's vocal set where I wanted it to. Now, here it is without it. You'll notice the louder parts of his vocals will peak and actually clip. So, here you go. We'll get past the laughter, cause nothing's funny, nigga. What you doing, crap? I'm getting money, nigga. From these dead hands, you have to take it from me, nigga. I got a squad of shooters, a bunch of hungry wiggers. I hear the orders boss, then wiggers deliver. Fingers in your mailbox, kid head in the river. Torso on your porch, so you can reconsider. I paint a big canvas, you get in the picture. 